From the Eyewitness News Station, this is Eyewitness News at noon. Food, P.O. Box 2929 at Bakersfield, California, 93303. Well, October is National Disability and Employment Awareness Month, and joining me today to raise awareness about employment opportunities that are out there for people with disabilities is Hire member Aaron Markovitz and David Marcus. You're an employee with a disability here in Bakersfield to yeah. kind of give us some insight. Welcome, guys. Thanks. Thank so you. I wanted to talk to you. Mayor Harvey Hall declared October as National Disability and Employment Awareness Month. How exciting was that? It's wonderful. The mayor has been... Uh, very supportive of employment opportunities for people with disabilities here in Bakersfield and you know we had a luncheon and about uh, 19 different people who work for businesses or own businesses attended and and you know are getting involved with uh, uh, supporting employment for people with disabilities. Okay so David you have a disability but yeah. you've been working for a company for over 17 years what has that experience been like for you? It feels great working for Albertsons. And how good have they been to you? They've been good to me. So what, can, what is something that you want to tell people out there? What, how do we want to raise awareness? What, what type of programs are out there? What's out there for people? Uh, well, there are a number of different types of programs available for people with uh, uh, disabilities who want to work. Uh, there are, uh, the Kern Regional Center is one. Uh, 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 how about an upcoming service? event that's going to take place? Uh, pretty soon here on October 13th. That's a pretty big one, right? This Saturday, in fact, the Golden yeah. Empire Special Education Partnership Conference is happening at Cal State Bakersfield, and the Hire Committee will be making a presentation at 2 o'clock, and it'll be in the Dorothy Donahue Hall out at CSUB uh, this, this Saturday. From 8.30 a.m. to 3.45. Now, what exactly right. is going to take place there for people who maybe aren't familiar? What, what can they learn? Or well, at the overall conference, there'll be a number of different breakout workshops. The, the theme this year is on transitions and changes to, to support families and, and students with the disabilities to assist them in the different transitions that they have from elementary school to middle school to high school and then after school. So it's going to be an excellent opportunity for families to learn more about types of services that are available for the students with disabilities. So for people that don't know, how many opportunities are there out there? I mean, millions? And well, it's getting better. You know, there's still, we still, as a community, I think we still have some ways to go, but uh, it's getting better for employment opportunities for people with disabilities, and the Hire Committee is, is one vehicle that is uh, promoting that uh, additional opportunities for people to work in the community. And David, how has the Hire Committee been for you? They've been, you? they've been good for me. And how does it work? It gives someone an idea, maybe, if they're at home and maybe they feel like there's no hub. They need to go out to Kern Regional Center and they'll help. Them at Kern Regional and Bark, places like that help you get jobs around town. And help you get a job if you have a disability and maybe think that there might not be anything available. Uh, absolutely. Be within the collaborative that is the Hire Committee, there are a number of agencies that serve people with all types of disabilities. And so if, if you called the number that was on the screen, I can provide you with more, more information, information about that. All right, that. gentlemen. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thanks mm -hmm. for being here. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully we raise a little bit of awareness out there. Well, what does an orange tabby cat have in common with the Pope? Coming up, 29 Eyewitness News. We're going to show you how a cat...